I think in cybersecurity capacity building, there are many roads to, to be going down. Um, one key focus in my line of experience is the international cooperation aspect. And there, I think the center can provide useful insights on which areas cooperation might be feasible and which areas cooperation might be much harder to achieve and which types of partners nations would like to interact with and which they might not to. Um, interestingly enough, in cybersecurity, um, the partners might not be the ones that are geographically around you. The partners might be spread across, across the globe. And there, I think the center can very much um, foster that kind of cooperation as well by doing events as the launch of the center has shown. Um, we do have uh, the international presence here already. Um, Indonesia, South Africa, Switzerland, and Brazil, everybody's here. So we're, um, I think this is good stuff for the center. I think academic centers provide a crucial function in providing relevant data and relevant research um, as academic centers can provide a global perspective, um, that's not a thing that governments are very good at. Uh, governments by design are tasked to look out for their own interests. Um, academic centers can provide information that um, a government would never be able to access to. So um, a concrete example would be on creating a report on best practices globally that might be used as a blueprint in governments where the capacity is lacking. Um, there are many other ways, obviously, as, a, as governments. Um, I think the, the most crucial function is the lack of time that you have in policymaking. And there, an academic center can actually make up for this by providing thought, rigorous research, and data.